Look at this man. He is a marvel of the universe. He is staring at me with those luscious eyes and smoking that pipe. He shall be our first side quest help of the day. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 42 of Nino Kuni. So, of course, we're going to do the same thing as we did last time, which is side questing. No story progress whatsoever today. Hello, sir. I say, it's you, dear boy. Feels like an absolute eat since our jaunt in that delightful fairy island. What? You have impeccable timing, you know. Uh, do we? Ten Gildo said he's lost his flippin' diary again. You're on. B but how? Well, it looks like I want to to bed, don't you? All <laughs> of it, all the boy. Careless so-and-so. I am most dreadfully ashamed. There I was, merrily pootling along in the open road where some loddish monsters assailed me. I took fright and fled to the city, the nearest outpost of civilization I could find. And then you thought you read it all about your impressive diary, only to find the thing I've gone missing again, am I right? Precisely! My gift to literature has vanished once again! A man visiting Hamlin is rather flustered after misplacing his diary yet again. Yep. We shall help him because he called us Old Bean. Notes from the tracks. So that just gives you an idea of where we need to find his diary. God, the side quest chain is so good. Like, okay. So, basically we need to find the diary in the railroad tracks near the mine's entrance. But, more importantly than that... More importantly than that, I should probably mention the fact that... We literally have two chains of side quests going on. In fact, well, actually, you count three, actually. Um, there's the Derwin guy who really, really likes studying creatures. There's this dude who's continuously losing his diary over and over and over again. And we have the couple who keeps getting brokenhearted. Like, okay, so the couple being brokenhearted would probably be, like, the easiest thing for Shadar to do. Like, seriously, he... Th that couple gets brokenhearted more often than any other one... Any other guys that we've, you know, come to know combined. And that's saying something. That is saying a hell of a lot. Like, literally, Shadar can just feed off these guys, you know, emotions or marital problems or problems opening up their shop. Like, absolutely no problem whatsoever. And, you know, we could probably still save the world because of that. <laughs> <laughs> we could definitely, definitely save the world based upon that information. But whatever the case, this is where we need to be on the map. You can see where we are. And yeah, who needs to walk all that minutes, all those several minutes away when we can just skip travel away there and it'll take a few seconds. Absolutely no problem. Hello, jolly old bean. We got your thing back for you. But if I ever hear you say that you lost your belly diary again, you and me will have a proper flowing out, boy -o. My, You have my word as a gentleman that I shall never misplace this diary again. Sure, man. Sure. Gaudy claws and a thousand G's. All safe and sound. This guy thinks still needs courage, and I highly doubt we have courage. No, we don't. So, the guy's just gonna have to wait on the courage thing. But, uh, we do have some side quests here to do in, uh, Hamlin that are actually much more involved than you could possibly know. So, uh, let me look at my notes here for a second and see what I can do. Okay, I'm really hoping I can actually do this one. Because, let's just say this actually involves a familiar. And I'm really, really hoping that this is the right one. Oh dear, oh dear me. This simply will not do. They'll never be ready in time. What's the matter, ma'am? Oh, young man, I'm quite a predicament. I just wanted to give my mother flowers for her birthday, but this plant will just not blossom. Her birthday is just around the corner, and yet this stubborn plant refuses to cooperate. No wonder the poor dab's flustered. Her mom's going to be none too pleased. Alright, so let's put our heads together. Um, sorry ma'am, I don't know much about flowers. 
Come on, Aribo, you're a wizard, aren't you? With some flipping magic and everything. Surely there's something you could do. A flower in the fug. So, this doesn't have anything to do with fugs, unfortunately. That doesn't really have to do with, uh... Or fortunately, this doesn't have anything to do with fugs. But, what we need to do is we need to use Quicken Growth. And it turns out that it doesn't work. So, let's try it one more time. But, unfortunately, we can't because it'll just shorten the life of the plant. However, it needs a decent dose of sunshine. And you can basically tell this place is full of sunshine, right? All right, so the short sunshine is in rather short supply, apparently. All right, so we need a creature that looks like just the sun. Yep. We need familiars not only for, you know, Durin's research, but for other people's problems as well. So the familiar that she needs is a sunshine. Specifically, that's the pre-evolved form. The grandson is... You know, the evolved form of a uh, sunshine. But every guy that I referred to says that there, that uh, sun, that only sunshines will work to make this side quest complete. Not any of its evolved forms or anything. So I am hoping that this will work. Uh, do they? No. We have to go get one. And it's a good thing I have fast travel. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good thing that I have fast travel because otherwise that that this whole adventure would probably be dangerous. Yeah, so it really looks like that we only need sunshines, not any of its evolved forms or anything. Just its base form. And if you want to know where it is, you can look at the foot of Old Smokey or you can go to Shimmering Sands and try to find one there. But even then, its recruitment rate is very small, just like most other familiars in this region. So you're gonna be tr you're gonna be hunting for a little bit. So get your podcast ready, get some of your drinks ready, make some snacks, do whatever, because you're probably in it for the long haul. Probably the most of where you're going to get some one of the sunshines, though. Is at the foot of Old Smoky. You really, you merely need to use travel in order to get to them. So I am actually kind of hoping that this is probably the first one that I do, because you can catch more than one of the same types of familiars. No, I'm not so lucky. I can get so lucky with the Zombo, but not, you know, Sunshines apparently. And that's just kind of the weird thing. Like, okay, so. It's basically established that, well, at this point, it's basically established that uh, Grandson are basically, you know, shaped like the sun. Uh, so the sunshine, you know, evolution or the sunshine family of familiars are, you know, shaped like the sun. And uh, you would think, you would actually think that the same would apply for its evolutions as well. And that would make it so that, you know, no matter what, you know, type of sun looking type looking familiar you have like the sunshine the grandson or even its final form whichever one of the two you choose to get or choose to get with um you know you would think that would be possible but it turns out no it turns out no it, you have to make sure that it's the base form that you need who knows we might get lucky with some other familiars but the sunshine is our target and I'm probably going to waste more than a few minutes trying to get this thing. If I can get it, I get it. And we complete that side quest absolutely no problem. However, I'm going to make it... I'm going to make myself a sort of limit on myself. Um, If we don't get it in uh, approximately eight minutes from now... Like... um. Uh, well, eight minutes after I start cutting away, then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get one off screen and we'll do that side quest another time. Don't worry, no matter what, it will be done. But, you know, if we don't get it this time around, we don't get it this time around. So, I'm gonna get one and I'm basically going to name it, you know, 
Bantha Futu or whatever. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. Almost to the point where I actually got cut off on my time, but geez, man. Alright. Okay, so I did plenty of fighting, and it got to the point where WoW can reach the final stage of its evolution at level 33. Also, Pyra gained some levels, too. Just dang. Um, uh, you shall be named Fodder. Because that's just what you are. You are a tool for my amusement, and you are the tool that will lead us to side quest victory. Alright. Gonna swap out these familiars, and I will see you guys at the lady. We found it in the next best thing to sunshine, ma'am. How extraordinary! It really does look like just like the sun. Even though we already have one, and yet it doesn't count. And there it is. The flowers nice and blooming. Only took about seven minutes. But it was worth it. I probably could have catch caught some other familiars that were along it too, like Boogity Boos or Little Big Horns, but you know. There was just the one. Okay, oh uh, wait. Oh, there are two side quests in Hamlin, actually. Okay. Oh, by the way, you can use this warp to go back to the entrance of Hamlin. You probably have something. Well, there you have it. It was all another waste of time. Waste of time? What do you mean, sir? It's my sister, you see. She's been acting so poorly. Or she's always been poorly, and I've devoted my life to trying to find a cure. Gee, it sounds like you have both have a hard time. I hope you find that cure soon. Hmm, I was on the vo verge of completing a remedy that I would felt sure to cure her. But now I wonder why I bothered. Huh, but you're nearly there. It's been a fruitless exercise. All my years wasted. Bah! Perhaps nothing can be done for her. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life running a fool's errand. I did my best, but it's over, and she must accept that. Yep. Brokenhearted. And lacking kindness. So, we got to do it for the sister. We gotta do it in order for him to save his sick sister. Let's give him some kindness so we can be on our merry little way. Wonder what have I been playing that dawdling here while my dear sister suffers? Yay, you got your kindness back. All right, so we saved lives and we got two bottles of pixie dew, 500 guilders, and a merry car filled up, damn. We're, we're really piling up on these on these things. Oh, and also, this guy has another quest for you. But I think I want to actually go and take care of this one first. Because I think this t this actually does deal with another brokenhearted. Yeah! Uh, nothing like an honest day's work. Except maybe an afternoon nap. I feel like I'd rather sleep. Z Wake up, you idle lump. I pay you to work. Come on. Chop, chop. I'm sorry, governor. What are you going on to lately? Sleep on the job, I ask you. <laughs> Why did I make him now sound like more like a cockney guy? <laughs> I promise. Who's <laughs> This guy is like kind of relatable because I remember, I remember a time when I was working on an internship with my dad at uh, his company. And I fell asleep because I didn't get enough sleep. It's not that I need it like restraint or anything. It's just the fact that I was so tired. <laughs> this is kind of honestly relatable to me. Huh? Oh, what is I doing? This is a place of work, not a hotel. Ah, you're so bright and pushy tailed at last. I was worried you'd storm me out of business. Yay. So you gotta roll up the sleeves, get back to work. Same. Why do you think I've been recording all these videos so far in advance? Yeah, seriously, it's still October, and I have videos scheduled all the way through early November. Of course I'm gonna... Of course I'm gonna keep going and going at it, because... I love this job! Alright, so... This guy will have another quest. 
This is a calamity. My supplies have run dry. I was so close to finishing. Something wrong, sorry? I was on the verge of completing the medicine for my ailing sister, but I've run out of ingredients. Jeez, rotten luck. You must have been real worried about her, huh? Indeed, I am. At present, she is convalescing in Castaway Cove. But if I could cure her, then she could live home with me. You mean she's stuck there until you finish making her medicine? Jeepers, no wonder you're working so hard. I actually have a small favor to ask you, if I may. Would you mind collecting me some feel-good fungus? Yes, making medicine. All right, so that's splendid. It'll be a good help. So we got a feel-good fungus growing in the forest to the west of the city. Okay, sir, leave it to us. Uh, do we already have it, though? Oh, okay, we don't. Okay, so that will give us a chance to explore a little bit, of course. And here I thought that <laughs> that my notes were right. Well, they're wrong. They are clearly wrong in every aspect of the word. Okay, so this is facing north. The city is facing north, so it would either make sense to go over here to where, you know, the fo said forest is. Or you can... Or you could just go to the east, where the com where clearly your the camera focuses on, you know, your character as if it were facing north. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know how the camera works. So maybe they are indeed right. Maybe it is the opposite way that we have to go, actually. So I'm here at Ghostly Gorge, but you want to run past it. Run past it. And you'll be on this other side of uh, Antomnia right here. On the very edge of Antomnia. Where you can forage for a rumble nut. And here, you'll find a forest clearing. Or forest whatever. <laughs> whatever. A forest whatever it is. Where here, you can get a lightning bolt thing for uh, your spear wielding familiars and junk. And also a green chest, if I can ever reach it, actually. Um, can I reach said chest? Yeah. Ready. From over here. Uh, okay. So let's get it. Purifying Pulse Gem. Uh, let's actually see what that does. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay, here it is. Uh, Purifying Pulse Gem. Okay, here it is. Uh, well, I, it doesn't really explain what the trick is. It's just... It's just a thing. <laughs> uh, well, it, well, this this lady does have a side quest, but we're already doing one. Yeah, we're already doing a side quest. So, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, could... What got me? Are you serious? Are you serious? That's what got me? Really? I mean, you're cool and all, but I don't have a boogie yet. Maybe I can get a boogie as revenge, maybe? If I, you know, ever target it or whatever, but <laughs> nope. I don't get it. Thank God I have notes. Uh, do I have one of those cakes of which they speak? I have a cake. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be right back because I, 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 wait, can I actually make a carrot cake, though? It'll be all according to cake. <laughs> it's all according to cake. Um, uh, uh, where are them carrots at? Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let, let me see. Because I think we can make one from, uh, yeah. Okay. So it says right here in my notes that, uh, we had to make three, we had to use, uh, come on. Okay. So we can make a carrot cake out of a cake and three crunchy carrots. So let's see. There we go. So I had the, I had the thing all along. Hmm? Can I give help? I hope so. I sure hope so. We're actually looking for a good feel-good fungus. 
from Dr. Feelgood. I know where you can find. Gee, really? Would you mind telling us? Feelgood fungus. Dangerous. Only find atop a big tree. Only my people can go. I get for you. Whoa, really? That sure is kind of you. But I have request. Sure. Uh, what can I do for you, miss? Karak ache. Karak ache? My people hear many rumors. This is very, very tasty. I swap for feel good fungus. One Karak ache. One fungus. So, of course, it doesn't really tell you what this lady really wants, but she needs a carrot cake. And you can buy one from the boutique, or you can make one using a cake and three crunchy carrots. I say, sterling work. You found the vital ingredient. Now one more push and I shall have this medicine complete. Oh, to see my sister's smiling face. Yeah, we got the medicine. All made. Two cappuccinos, 1,000 guilders. Not bad at all for a day's work. Now, I'm not really sure if I want to do this one because this next one from him requires a lot of fighting. But I feel like I'm confident enough, I guess. I mean, I don't want to exactly evolve WoW yet, but... Uh, you know, I might as well take it. There's still no end to my trials. And just what? And just when I finally prepared the medicine... Is something the matter, sir? I'm afraid that things are looking rather bleak. With your assistance, I finally managed to prepare the medicine for my poor, ailing sister. Congratulations! Yes, but there's the rub. The seas between here and Castaway Cove have been plagued by pirates of late. They say it is too perilous for ships to set sail. Jeepers, that's awful! Are there some other way to get the medicine to your sister? I've racked my brains, but I cannot think of one. If you can consider swimming all the way there. For my poor sister, I would do anything. Whoa, you can't swim all the way from here to Castaway Cove. Alright, so pesky pirates. Um, if I'm feeling like um, I'm not prepared for these because I looked it up and they seem pretty dangerous, these enemies are. But, you know, it's a thing. Won't, won't stop me from, you know, trying anyway. So, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do myself a, I'm gonna do myself a thing and, you know, try it anyway. By the way, cappuccinos, they restore 70 MP. Actually, before that, I can make Rogue's Revolver. I think that's a gun for Swain. So, you need a Hog's Cog, which, you know, you can get from the Porco Grosso fight. Drill screws from Mechanical Enemies and Antomnia. And, you know, lumps of raw steel, which you can forge for. They're them pirate ships now. Of course, you can't see them on the map, but there you go. And also, just to show you, the star is where we need to go. All right, let's see how tough you are. The Zomboat Swain, or whatever you pronounce them. Uh, let's see. How tough are you? Um, I mean, they're doing okay damage, I guess, but... You know what? Yeah, might as well just use all out attack on them against them anyway. And this guy's even next. Um, so, to my, to my, to my knowledge, these guys can be recruited. And... yeah. <laughs> so, just keep a lookout for them in the near distant future, I suppose. What was I worried about? They're, they aren't really that tough, I guess. I mean, not really. I, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know my own. I don't even know if they own, if I even believe my own strength or not. Okay. So, let's get these guys with a thunder spark and a plasma ball because that's just what you do because everybody else is like out of everything. And get him with the old Phantom Fangs and the Whirly Gigs. Because, again, that's just what we do. Alright, and... Leech! Did you... Ha! There it goes. Of course, I'm definitely going to heal up after each and every fight, of course. Which actually does remind me. Uh, in between fights, you can... 
rest at a cat's cradle, definitely. You can definitely try your luck at that. So, at least you have a way to heal yourself up completely, if should you run into any trouble. Okay, one more ship to go. Definitely didn't want to have you go through all those fights, or just see me do all those fights. Because that last fight, it was... It was four zomb... whatevers. Zombie bestrains or whatever. But... We have a Zom... Captain Zombo. And... Z oh my god. <laughs> um... Yeah, take out the little guys first. So, my basic strategy for all these fights is just basically go for all-out attacks always. Just go all out, no matter what. Because no matter how many enemies there are, if you go for an all-out attack... Well, in this case, in these enemies' cases, they probably won't deal as much damage to you as they would, you know, any others. So, that's at least okay. You'll do fine, at least, if you have, you know, the necessary MP and the necessary healing items to go about as well. But just don't, just don't forget that you also have your other tactics should you want them. Or should you need your other tactics, like keep your guy, like keep yourself healthy or, or whatever else. Just make sure you make use of all those tactics. If you use all those tactics, then you should be okay dealing with, you know, most of these guys whenever you're doing this quest. Or even if you're doing this quest, actually. So, just remember. Remember your tactics, and you should be okay. Also, I probably shouldn't have wasted all those cheeseburgers just to cure up all those uh, HPs. Good! We just beat their asses. Beat their asses. Damn. I wasn't really sure if I was ready for this fight, but apparently they're not as tough as they look. We did it. And we do. We give them pirates what for. That's just like we said we would. You did? Why, this is an extraordinary feat. I salute you. I wish you could have been there to see me in action. I gave them left and a right and another left. Actually, you just cried the entire time. Hundreds of them. No, there were thousands. But they were no match for the fairies, Fury. Chuck them all overboard, I did. Don't exaggerate, Mr. Drippy. You were just watching most of the time. <laughs> Flippin' heck, holly boy. You really know how to pick your moments, don't you? You made me look like I'm all mouth and no trousers. Young people today, I ask you. Ho, ho, ho. You're quite a pairing. I haven't laughed like this in a long time. But you've given me far greater cause to smile than that. Because of you, my sister will have her medicine at last. I am inexpressibly grateful. I like you to. Ha I want to thank you for all that you've done for me. This is for you. So not only have we cured this guy's brokenheartedness, but we were able to make it so that his sister could live with him. We are extraordinarily great people. I say, I say. So extraordinary, in fact, that we completely forgot one guy's courage. So, that's definitely a very, very good thing for us. <laughs> yeah, very, very good that we actually forgot one little side quest where we need to get some courage, actually. Alright, so... All these side quests... They're done. Well, except for this one, because... We haven't really explored that part yet. We will be able to do that, though. We'll be able to do that. And there are also a couple more bounty hunts that we need to take care of as well. So we're going to take care of that next time. Don't tell anyone this, but my raw file is over 55 minutes. And I don't give a fuck. Next time on Nino Kuni, side questing. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.